Hi, good morning uh, to my uh, channel Ren Country Sticks. It's Sunday morning. I'm not ready to come into the workshop. I won't be able to get into here, uh, here into the workshop till oh, late this afternoon. Um, but I just thought we'd give you a bit of a, a stocking filler. Um, on the last video, um, we just went through what uh, sticks we had to do, and um, I showed you what I call my um, my signature stick, the uh, the Ren. So you, you've seen it uh, in the last video where this was just a block and um, I just got and copied a picture off the internet, off one of my, uh, off my website, used that as my template, a bit of hardboard and um, so that's what I've used to actually uh, get my shape and get the thread and everything. Um, and what we've done to start with is we, we, we've drilled the hole, um, that's where we start the carving with this. Um, <clears throat> once we've done that, little fret saw. I could probably do with a new blade in this, but that's a little godsend than that. So <clears throat> we'll use the fret saw just to cut round where that scroll is. And um, all this up here is uh, just blocked out on the bandsaw. Now, <clears throat> I have in the past told you about um, the, 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 the forum that I use an awful lot, and also these little Chinese uh, dental drills, which are very, very good. You can control the speed on them and uh, nice flexible lead on them. They're, they're pretty good. A bit pricey, it's £80, but uh, they're not bad. <clears throat> For this operation, I've dug out my old um, Dremel. Hardly ever use it, but I found it very, very useful. And what I did find useful, because I don't do a lot of scrolls uh, out of solid, to, to get all the waste out of this scroll here, um, I found that uh, an appropriate drill bit um, could be used down there just like a little router and I've got that up on a pole uh, suspended on some uh, elastic off the face mask just for a little bit of flexibility <clears throat> and um, that works okay so you drill the hole uh, we'll use whatever devices we've got um, created that and then we've gone on the internet and uh, just pulled up some pictures of Renz just to try and get a rough idea of what we're carving and then Whittle this down again, just using either the Dremel or the Chinese um, a dental drill until we've got to that stage. Um, we're about ready now for, for, for rounding off and just getting the proportions right and everything. Um, we have <clears throat> created, because it's just quite a narrow neck here and there'll be some more material taken off it, um, I've created a, an oak peg hoping that will be stronger than the, the normal dowels I use. So um, that's been roughly uh, um, made into a peg. We've glued that in, left it uh, overnight to dry so it's nice and solid. And um, we can use that, as I say, just to, to help us uh, get whatever angles we've got. So after this now, it's uh, a lot of sanding, a lot of shaping, using these um, drum sanders of uh, various uh, diameters until we get to where uh, we think it's right. I haven't chosen the stick for this yet, uh, but I want a fairly light stick. I'm going to have to take a fair bit off this yet, I think. Um, and that's um, where we're at with that. So that's really sort of uh, like a, a little bit of an introduction to what we spoke about in the last um, video when we're going to do this. Now, I think you'll be able to see uh, this picture here. This is what I call the Hayden wood stick. Uh, I'm not sure exactly who made this. Either Hayden made it or possibly um, a pupil of his, Steve Kine. Brilliant stick maker. So I really like that. It gives you the dog, gives you the, um, the ram's horn if you want, the, the, the ram's head if you want it, and a wee bit of a nose. So you don't have to be turning noses or anything, and um, you could probably make that with a reasonable size hole. So that's where we're going. So as I say, um, you have minimal tools for this really. Um, if you've got sort of like a, a Dremel and a few tips, that'll be grand and you'll be able to do this. And all we're going to do is um, make the profile on the, um, on the horn and you just want to take the waist off here so you've left the dog in the middle, a um, little bit off here for the nose, um, then you're going to have to take material out here to leave the horns proud and then it's just a matter of whittling. So um, 
as I say, this is only a stocking fill, it's not really sort of like a tutorial or anything. Um, I use a lot of these. Uh, I don't buy discs because uh, they're, they're too expensive, they don't last very long. So I tend to make my own. And uh, as long as you've got some abrasive paper, this is 60, but you know, you can buy whatever you want. Um, cut yourself some discs out of that using a, a, a template board. These are great little uh, metal compasses, B and Q, a fibre. You can't beat that. Probably last forever that will. Um, so cut your own uh, discs out and do a lot of braiding in, in areas that are difficult to get to for, for anything else. You know, you can just do either side of um, the wing here because these wings are just going to be a little bit proud on the actual nose. So pretty good for that. Um, other than that, I'm not sure what I can tell you. As I say, we're working slowly towards uh, getting these four uh, horns done. And as soon as I can get um, sort of close to getting this done, then you'll see how um, the, the Havenwood uh, cell stick is done. So that's it for now, for a Sunday morning. Um, I'm waiting for the sun to uh, dry the lawn out, so I've got to do the lawn and uh, a few other jobs. And then uh, this afternoon, we can knuckle down again. So have a nice day. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you again.